Welcome to this podcast of the Story Walk book, Rain, written by Linda Ashman and illustrated by Christian Robinson. I am Ms. Emily from the Youth Services Department of the Oak Lawn Public Library. If this is your first time on the Story Walk Trail at Lakeshore Park in the Oak Lawn Park District System, feel free to look south or back towards the street. There is a map of the trail, as well as some general information like this story walk was established in 2015 with a partnership between the Oak Lawn Public Library and the Oak Lawn Park District. If you have been to Story Walk before, welcome back! Here at the first panel, you've already gone to the link listed. Thank you! On this panel, you'll also see a reminder to scan the QR code at the end of this walk. We really greatly appreciate any feedback and also know how many people have seen the story walk since we cannot be with you today. Notice the title, Rain, the story by Linda Ashman and pictures by Christian Robinson. This young child here is ready to splash in a puddle. So let's head on over to our second panel. Is there any puddles on the trail here while we're going by? Take a look. If you're wearing the right footwear, feel free to splash in them as well. If not, you might want to avoid them. It is spring. Now here at station two, you see the inside book jacket flap and some more people who look pretty happy to be in the rain. Let me read this jacket flap. Splish, splash. It's raining in the city. One man complains, rain! The other boy exclaims, rain! How can two people view the same day so differently? And what happens when the two meet? Grab your umbrella and find out. Does anyone see what color the umbrella is on that page? I wonder if any of you are wearing that same color. Look around, are you wearing the color red too? While we go to station number three, maybe you can find other things that are red as well. I love looking for colors while on the trail. Now remember, there'll be a number three on the, the next sign. Do you see it? All right, so here we are at number three. Now this has a lot of information on this panel. There's the dedication at the very top to my rain loving friend, Kathleen Pelly, and with thanks and admiration, that looks like by the author, L.A., Linda Ashman, and also for Christian Robinson to Nigel, Nana, and Mama for being the sun that is always shining above the rain clouds. Oh, that's so nice. Now below that is the information for the cataloging and publishing. Um, it's sometimes referred as the SIP page. And this has when it was written in 2013. It has information about where. Um, this is the Hufflin Mifflin Harcourt Publishing Company out of New York, New York. It has a website there. Gives Library of Congress and a summary and the ISBN and where it was made. Um, but on the other panel, notice it looks a lot like that cover. Um, this is also the title page, as it's called. All right, so we're going to go to panel number four. Now, as we're walking, can you see the trail up ahead? It sort of splits in a Y. We want to go to the left. So as you are walking down the trail, you're going to come up to a Y. Did everyone get there yet? I've, I've made it there, but I also take big steps. So feel free to... Uh, to catch on up, that's quite all right. Pause this, this podcast at any time to catch on up if I'm walking too fast for you um, or if I'm too much talking and it's slow and you're already there, you're welcome to fast forward as well. So make sure you go to the left and look for where it says number four on the post underneath the picture. Now here, this is where the really story begins. <gasps> but there's no words on this page, my, my. Do you see the two people in the building windows? There's one in that brownish gray building. Do you see that person? And then over in that mustard yellow, there's a person in one of those windows. Do you see them too? 
Look at all those windows on this page. I wonder how many windows there are. I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh my goodness, 29 windows. Well, that's a lot of windows in this picture right here. And I see these two people in two different buildings. So let's head to panel number five. It's just up ahead, not too far from us. Do you see any windows in any of the buildings around you as we're walking? Look to the left, look to the right. I think I see more to the right than to the left. I see a tennis court sort of in front of me. Um, but yeah, I see windows over there. How many windows are on that house? See if you can count them. All right, hopefully you've made it to number five. Do you see now the people who are in the building? So in that grayish, brownish building we saw, it was the one character, and the other character is in that yellowish building. And again, they're both saying the exact same word, rain. But looking at their expressions on their faces, I think they sound a lot different. I'm thinking the first one is rain, Arr! scaring off those pigeons. And the other one is my guess. Happy rain. Look at that little plant next to them. Happy, happy, happy. All right. So now we're going to go to panel six. Now six is a little bit farther away. So feel free to get there. And do you want to be grumpy and go rain, rain, rain as you're walking to station number six? Or you can be like rain, rain, rain and be happy as you're walking to station number six. So uh, that's what I want you to do is either be happy or grumpy about rain. So use those emotions as we go to panel number six. All right. If you are at panel number six, oh, someone is definitely still grumpy and someone is definitely still excited. Let me read the text and see if you can figure out which person is feeling what emotion. Hmm, so here we have nasty galoshes. They're putting on boots. Galoshes are another name for boots, usually rain boots. Blasted overcoat. So that means it's a big, long coat. There goes my hair. I'm not sure if this person had that much hair to begin with, but getting it all wet from the rain, they are not very happy about it. It's gonna mess up their hairdo. And then on the other page, on the right side, is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining frogs and pollywogs. So pollywogs are usually like tadpoles. It's another name for that. So it's baby frogs and then frogs. So no tails on them. And the very end, hippity hop. So he is getting dressed up in their green clothes, green boots, green hat, pretending to be a frog. So we're gonna have to go from six to seven now. So look for panel number seven. Hopefully the numbers are back on. Um, and I wanna see if we can hop like a frog, hippity hoppity from six to seven. So let's try that, hop, hop. Oh my goodness, hop, hop, hop. This might take me a little bit longer to get there hopping than if I'm normally walking. I don't hop very far. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. <sighs> okay. I have made it to panel number seven. And, oh, there's a number at, over the apartment, the building, 1192. 1192 or 1192, very cool. And the doorman says, good morning, sir. And his response is, hardly, dang, puddle. Oh, look at him stepping in that puddle. Can everyone stomp their feet like they're in a puddle right now? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp your feet like you're in that puddle. Oh, hardly, dang, puddle. All right, and then on the next page, we have the child and their adult, and their doorman says, good morning, young man. And he says, ribbit, and he's hopping in the puddle. Ribbit, 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 having good fun hopping. So again, do you want to stomp from seven to eight? Darn, dang, puddle. Or do you want to hop, ribbity, 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 as you go to the puddle? It is your choice, your choose of emotions. And if you're with your family, you can, some people can stomp and some people can jump. 
And if other people just want to walk, that's okay too. All right, so have you made, made it to number eight yet? I see the number eight on the poster. And they have gone to the Daily Newspaper Magazine Food Snack Stand. Okay, let's see here. The person that working at the stand says, enjoy your paper. And the person replies, Humph, just more bad news. Oh, definitely not a happy camper going on here. Bad news. I know sometimes I turn off the news too. Because sometimes I just don't want to hear all the bad news over and over and over again. I like some good news. And look at all the other people in this picture. They all look a little unhappy. The baby looks like it's going to cry. Um, the adult that's pushing is like, whoo! Even the dog at the newsstand is complaining about the rain. Oh, so let's have our grumpy faces or angry faces and be walking to station number nine. It's not very far from here, so let me go. Grumpy faces. Arr, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy faces as you get to station number nine. Now, if you notice, to the south or the left is the Dream Center. That's that building there in the parking lot. Um, it's been used as a nature center, a park's maintenance garage in the past, and now it's used for individuals with special needs. And I even believe the park district was doing an escape room um, this spring in that space for families. Uh, so definitely check out the Dream Center. It's pretty cool. All right, so we have made it now to what looks like a fruit stand. And we have, how are you, Mr. Frog? Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. So instead of happy, he's saying hoppy. He's got his hands up in the air. Look at this dog by the fruit stand. And we got the caregiver there, the adult, and someone walking that dog on a leash. That's so nice of them. And look at all the beautiful flowers in front. Let's see what types of fruit are at the fruit stand. I think I see some oranges, some pears, some apples, and I'm thinking those purple circles are maybe plums. Do you like any of those types of fruit? Point to the fruits that you would eat from that fruit stand. Mmm. Oh, that's a good choice. Now, we're going to go to panel number 10. Um, in order to do that, you're going to basically walk up forward towards the bridge and then turn to the right. Because panel number 10 is by the bridge, but not across the bridge. It's still on the same trail. We're going to sort of walk back where we just came from. All right, so head on over there. It's just a few steps ahead. And if you can, put your hands in the air and be happy, happy, happy as you're walking to panel number 10, just to the right of us and up ahead a little bit to the west. All right, so at panel number 10, you should see the page rain or shine cafe and it looks like both families or characters have gotten there on the left side we have the finally oh grumpy 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 and on the right side we're here says the child with their adult so again crabby on one side and happy on the other what do you think they're gonna order from the rain or shine cafe what would you like to order from the Rain or Shine Cafe, if you got to pick it out. Let's head over to panel number 11. So again, we're gonna sort of walk back where we just came from. So the panel's gonna be on your left side. The panels that we already read are gonna be on your right side. So walk back where we sort of came from, up by the tennis courts a little bit there. And we're gonna see what they are gonna order on the next panel. But what would you like to order? So as we're walking over there, what sorts of things, if you went to a little cafe, what would you like to get? Would you like to get a cupcake? Would you like to get a hand pie? Uh, would you like to get an iced tea? What types of things would you like to get at the cafe? You can talk to your families if you're together and decide. So here is panel number 11. And the gentleman is asking for coffee, black. Now, I don't know about you, but I probably would not choose that, but that is their choice. And then let's see here, what did our other characters get? Cocoa and cookies, please. Ooh, now that might be something I might order. Um, so we got cocos and cookies and black coffee there. And oh, look at all those scrumptious pies and cookies they have there and cake. Oh, they have gingerbread and sprinkles. Oh, so many options. 
So now that you can see what they have at the cafe, would you change your mind and order something else? On the, ooh, on the list it says chai tea. That might be what I would choose for my beverage. And we're gonna go to panel number 12 next. And so I want you to pretend like you've gotten your order and you're gonna be holding the tray and holding your food or your beverages. And you're gonna be walking over to panel number 12. Be very careful, don't spill. Don't spill your order, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, okay. Now, here at panel number 12, we can pretend like we put our tray down and we can sit down at the table. And let's see here, on the left side, uh, we have the gentleman reading the newspaper that he got from the newsstand and there's his coffee that's black. Um, and people working on their laptop computers and the wait staff there. And then on the other side, we have the child and adult uh, drinking their hot cocoa and yum, delicious. And it looks like chocolate chip cookies they got. Do any of you eat chocolate chip cookies? Oh, and now the people look like they're drinking some coffee or tea or cocoa as well. So let's go to page, the, or I'm sorry, not page, but panel. 13. As we walk over there, pretend like you did get some cookies or you did get something to eat and drink and you can pretend to be drinking it. As we're walking, you can pretend to eating it. Chomp, 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 chomp. As we're walking over to panel number 13, be able to see what the story is going to happen. So whether it's a cookie or a piece of pie, mm, 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 mm. oh, you can eat it there and then you can drink. Uh oh, don't spill, don't spill, gotta be careful. I know sometimes it's hard to drink and eat while walking. Good thing we're using our imaginations. All right, we've made it to panel number 13. And oh, they're putting on their coats. Watch out, sorry. So he apologized, they accidentally bumped into him while he's putting on his coat. Oh, and look, he says ribbit. So he's offering the cookie to the gentleman. When we look at the next panel, he's still got the cookie and he's got a grumpy face. Do you think the person wanted the cookie? No. And he looks a little sad about that. But then he looks on the floor. <gasps> What's on the floor? His hat. Uh-oh, what do you think that child should do with the hat that fell on the ground? While we're walking to panel number 14, I want you to think about and, and ask, what would you do if you saw the person's hat on the ground? Would you tell the restaurant person that their hat's on the ground? Would you leave it and say, he was mean to me, I'm gonna be mean to him and let him lose it? Uh, would you take it home and keep it forever and ever? Would you try to go give it to him? Uh, would you donate it to a shelter for people who need hat? What would you do with the hat? All right, if you got to panel 14, we're gonna see what the child did with the hat. So the child is going and bending down and picking up the hat. And then, up, oh, they're heading out the door. So I think they're gonna try to return the hat to the person who lost it. Let's see on the other, up, oh, and, and they say, hey, wait. So they're saying, excuse me, can you please, hold on a second, and he grabbed his hat. Okay, so let's go to panel number 15. Now remember, um, on this trail, we're gonna get to that split area again. You wanna keep on going to the left. If, you, if you're if you not gonna go back where we came from by the parking lot, you're gonna go over closer to 95th Street. So as we're walking to panel number 15, you might see that split up ahead. Make sure that we uh, keep to the left as we're walking. All right, so we have our hat. And here at 15, the adult goes, you? And where is the child holding the hat? Behind their back. Can you put, everyone put their hands behind their back right now? And then the child goes, you! And he's all crabby and grumpy with his hands on his hips. Can everyone put your hands on your hips and be grumpy? Arr. All right, so as we go to panel number 16, I want you to have your hands on your hips and stomp and be grumpy. Arr. Here we go. Go to number 16. Arr. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. We're gonna be like the grumpy man. Oh, now here at 16, um, it does, the child does give the adult the hat back and oh, what do you see on that adult's face? Is that a grumpy face? 
I don't know. I think it might be the start of a smile. That one too. Mine? As he points to his hat. Look at the child gives his froggy hat to the adult and the adult puts it on. Oh my goodness gracious. Have you ever had an adult try to put on one of your hats? Did it fit your head? Or did it wasn't or was your hat too small for the adult? Oh my goodness gracious. And then the little child offers the cookie again. And this time, look, he's taking the cookie. Oh, and he's got a smile on his face. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Happy smiles. Okay, so let's let's see, we're at 16 now. So what number are we going to next? What comes after 16? 17, yes. And so we're gonna stay to the left. Keep on going to the left on this trail to get to panel number 17. And let's have our happy faces as we're walking. Happy faces! Oh, smile, try the line. If you want to pretend like you're eating that chocolate chip cookie, you can. Oh, that's so nice as we're walking to number 17. La 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 la. Eating that chocolate chip cookie. Smiles on our faces. Woo hoo hoo. All right. So, here at 17, uh, the adult eating the chocolate chip cookie says, Yum. Oh, is that nice? And he's waving. He's waving. And then the child is waving back. And we got another dog here. And oh, look at, I think every single person in this picture has a smile on their face. <gasps> Let's see. I think so. I think they're all happy to be outside. I know I'm happy when I'm outside. So let's wave to any people that we see around or even to the trees or to the little squirrels or to the animals or to the water or to the grass, to the flowers. As we walk to number 18, we're very close to the end. So as we're walking, wave, wave around. You can even take you're in a parade and you're waving as you're going to the different panels. Wave, wave, wave. Tra -la 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 -la. Wave, wave, wave. All right, if you've gotten to panel number 18, here, look at the gentleman back at his place. The doorman says, welcome back, sir. And what does he say? Ribbit? And what is he doing in that puddle? He's splashing and splashing and jumping into the puddle. Now, when we first saw him in the puddle, he was grumpy and, oh, dang, puddle. Urgh. Now he's purposely going in the puddle and having fun with a smile on his face. Boy, did their attitude change towards the puddle at the end compared to the beginning of the story. And here is also where we find the back flap of the jacket, which talks more about the author and the illustrator. So the author, Linda Ashman, is the, um, an author of many critically acclaimed books for children, including Babies on the Go, illustrated by Jane Dyer, and Samantha on a Roll, illustrated by Christine Davier, um, a New York Times notable children's book. Uh, she enjoys sunny days and rainy days in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where she lives with her husband, son, and their two dogs. And then there's a website that if you wanted to contact her or see more of her books. Now, uh, Christian Robinson likes to stay indoors on rainy days and look out of the window while drinking a big cup of hot cocoa. He has illustrated this book as well as a few others while staying indoors on rainy days. Christian lives in San Francisco, which has more fog than rain. And then you can visit him online at T-H-E-A-R-T-O-F-F-U-N dot com. So the art of fun dot com. Isn't that nice? And at the very, very bottom um, from the editor's desk, we've all seen someone walking down the street with a furrowed brow, that means sort of crinkled up eyebrows, or a brisk, angry walk that makes us give them a wide berth. That means, oh, they look very crabby and grumpy. I'm just going to let them pie. I'm going to let them pass. Um, or conversely, we've been affected by positive, positively by someone with a cheerful smile or a sunny demeanor. That means happy. Um, that's what this book is about. The power of people's energy and what happens when different perspectives collide. I hope that within these pages, you'll enjoy the transformative, transformative power of a smile. Pass it on. And I know right, right now, a lot of us are wearing masks. And so it's hard to give that smile and everyone can see it. But if you're able to smile under your mask and wave hello and have a happy hello, 
um, when you pass people that will definitely uplift their days so let's head to that last panel that's number 19 at the very very end so walk all the way down it's sort of near the the, the other parking lot and close to 95th street it's going to still be on the left side of the trail it's the last one make it on over there you might even see where the little preschool building is um if it's nice out you can go to the playground after this but we got to get to the last page get to number 19 get to number 19. all right we made it to the last panel now we would love to hear what you thought about this book so if you're able to scan that qr code that you see there that would be excellent that way um you scan it it's going to ask you like three questions of how did you like this book and it has different options um, do you want to check out this book at the library, which we do have copies of this book for if you want to check out as well. Um, we are going to have um, some comprehension pages if you like as well. So lots of different options to learn about this book. So please scan the code and let us know that you were here and how many people were here, as well as it shows the back cover. And again, what is this child going to do? Jump in the puddle! So. On the, on the count of three, I want you to jump up in the air and say ribbit. One, two, three, ribbit! One more time. One, two, three, ribbit! Oh, excellent. Well, it was so nice doing this podcast with you for the book Rain. Um, it will be out. This book will be out for the months of April, May, and June. There will be a new book out for July, August, September, and a new podcast as well. So hopefully be able to enjoy this book outside feel free to check out a copy from the library and looking forward to future times on the trail bye bye everyone thanks for listening have a great day